What? Diavole! I didn't drop it. I'm sure of it. Call the watch. Pickpockets at work here. Help! Lend me your eyes. Another book of poetry by Arib. She definitely is popular in certain circles. Zahra is definitely tied to the order. Along with somebody named El Rabisu. Learn all I can. Better get to high ground and get ready. Zahra might return any minute. Servants, prepare a glass of date juice on ice and serve it with a plate of honeyed bread and pomegranates. Then prepare the bath salts. I am utterly beat. <sighs> Paradise is where you find it. That old fool tinkering with his worthless ancient disc and helpless patience. Bah! Of course, Sayyidati. The real answers are in books. 
They are always in books. Am I not right? Always, Saida. When I get that book translated, <laughs> then I <laughs> the real head of the order. Mata as you wish. Killer Hill. Oh, not now. Zahra thought that strange book would get their great work functioning. Good thing Hunayn could not translate a single word. I should look for other leads in Abbasida.
اضطرابات بين العبيد مجددا Retrace my steps. Where? No. Help! I am robbed! Call the doctor! Help! Please help! Such a massive dig. What are they up to? Mercenaries guarding the site. They must have found something important. Are you the leader of this battle-scarred band of war dogs? You must get paid well. Not as much as we want to get paid, I'll tell you that. Care to do a little work for me? Maybe. What's this job then? See those fancy Khalifa's men over there? I might need a hand. Hmm. Let's work something out. Spoken like a true mercenary. Here is a token of my appreciation. Hey, it's honest work. Show me everything. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? 
Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. What do you see, Enkidu? See if there are any more chests around. Damn you! Yeah. This chest has Ahmed's signature seal on it. Must be his. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a doctor Hassan. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? It must all link together somehow. Go in peace. 
Be Maristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. This letter proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the order. The symbol of the order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No, that's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. Get in the way! <sighs> <sighs> 
Blood will flow! What's up? Oh, yeah. oh. Someone is going to... is to, to pray for it! A broken window could be a way in. Nothing wrong with my message. Only the mechanism itself. Needs more subjects, more work. I certainly do not need some useless inventor meddling with the great work. Am I not the great and dreadful at a <laughs> Maybe I should not. <laughs> I am here for you. Guards, hurry! The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. 
It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim, because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands, isn't it, Basim? A bloody mess. Head bandages. But this is a hospital after all. I do not care for these diagrams. I should return to the Bureau. Join me on the roof. Yeah. 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 Such is the life of a Rafiq. Without my knowledge, eh, where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon. It can be used for good or ill. And the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people. Lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Mm. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Hmm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. 
an informal gathering of scholars, a lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go, spy out this puzzle with care, but do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fuzzle is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, Please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al the poet? Where is Arib? I hope to catch a whiff of her So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, grooming and clean up all the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh! 
Perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life. Slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. Be my eyes, Enkidu. The translator? What is he still doing here? Hunain, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wadaan. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. Gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know.
That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. Guide me and keep There is that poet, the Bidlub, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the sands, pilot of desert ships. From the... Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say... Chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Fazel Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood? who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead. 
slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Saidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the Great Scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the Order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. The old fraud caused Elvetri to hide in the you Where is the Kahraman? I wish to complain about the shortness of the lecture. I remain profoundly unedified. Did you see the powerful terror on the ground? The old fraud for the government to hide it. How exciting. What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. <laughs> Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I'm aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders. Mayhem and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars? Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 